What are the questions that you should be asking when you are selecting an executive leadership coach for yourself or somebody in your organization? In this video, we're going to be talking about in detail what these questions are, why these are the important questions to ask, so that when you are looking for a personal executive leadership coach, that you know exactly how to find the right one that fits your style. My name is Beate Chalette. I'm the founder and the creator of The Women's Code. I'm also known as the Growth Architect. I help companies and organizations to achieve balanced leadership. So part of executive coaching really is a question of reverse engineering. So you start with the end goal in mind. So people get an executive coach either because the company has recommended you to get a coach, which means that they see leadership potential and now they want you to step up in a bigger role, which is great, but it's also a very clear sign that they believe that there is something in your leadership that could be improved. So the first question you ask an executive coach is what are the different types of engagement levels? Every coach has their own you know, spin or their own method that they're using. Most coaches are um, looking into engagements that are a little bit longer and um, some coaches are doing hourly engagement. So you want to be very clear about what type of coach it is. So somebody who runs on an hourly and somebody who is going on a monthly retainer are two completely different things. The second question you want to ask, what is the minimum and the maximum amount of time in order for me to achieve a particular result? In executive coaching, especially in the work force. You are looking for four to six months minimum to see a consistent result. And most of the good co coaches, the executive coaches are on a monthly retainer. So you are not looking at dollar for time, but you are looking for the 10,000 hours that the coach invested in his or her work before that one hour you're spending together because executive coaches have shortcuts. Got it? And finally, the last question is, what are your expectations of what I need to be doing? Because coaching in all cases requires something to change, to improve, to move forward, to be adjusted, to be fine-tuned. So if you go to a coach, you go to a coach because you want to fix something or you want to better something that is not working quite that well. So it requires you an effort. I hope this helps you a little bit and I hope you find the right one. If you want to find out if I'm the right coach for you, go ahead and check out uncoverysession.com and fill out the information and we'll get on a phone call and we'll figure out if we are a good match for each other. Thank you so much for watching.